Yes, Malmö International. It's yeah, it's one of the bigger uh, competitions in Sweden. Okay. Uh, so it got some international fans there. Like mostly uh, the Swedish national team and the Danish and I think it was the Lithuanian. So yeah, it was it a uh, yeah, it's a good competition. Uh, I did not have the oh. best uh, day. Uh, so I got ranked in the middle and had I close bout the match before. Um won 15-14 in overtime with four doubles. Uh, yeah, I was not fencing uh, very good at the beginning of the day. But this last match, uh, even though I lost, um, I think uh, I fenced. Uh, yeah, I fenced pretty good. Uh, many okay, good so points. So when you're saying you weren't having a good day, what? Like other than losing points, right? Which is obvious. Like no one's having a good day when they're losing points. So other than losing points, what like? Why were you having a bad day? Like, what makes you feel like you're having a bad day? Uh, I was um, uh, first. I was pretty tired. Like, and uh, but it's probably mostly like I was pretty. I felt um, stressed from uh, being a little bit tired, uh, and. Like my fencing was not horrible in the rest of the day. It was, but yeah, it was not. Uh... Fencing was yeah. not horrible. That's always a good start. So yes, but uh, I did some some horrible um, choices um, from some matches. Like what um, kind of choices? in the pool, like when I fenced better fencers, um, I did not completely. Uh, I was not completely on point, so it was. Uh, okay, so let's let's keep diving in deeper. I'm like your psychologist yeah. right now. Yes, um, yes, I'm I'm trying to think because. Just yeah, a, I I, a, I think I was. Disclaimer: Not medical advice. I'm not licensed, no. so this is just helping. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're not on point in pools. Why is that? Where did that start? Uh, I think that because I was tired, I got a little bit stressed, and that made me unfocused, and that, I guess, a little bit lazy. No, I should not say lazy, but no, uh, that's a good not start that sharp. Right away, right? You're able to tell me that because you were tired, you were not focused. Yeah. Right? So that's, e like, that already gives you an answer, right? So tired equals not focused uh and that, are, that already gives you a lot of hints right so that means if it's in pools yeah uh, if you're tired maybe you didn't sleep well right why is that whatever it is right uh so that yeah. can uh, right away that can give you a few percentage like that can give you if, you, if it even gives you one percent better to like have a better night's sleep things like that that's easy to write little easy fixes right so that's just at the surface level so tired, yeah, tired, yeah, not focused. Think, and why were you tired? Like, was it because yeah, of the match I, I before, think, or was it because no. of you? Um, it it was yeah okay. Uh, this match when against Knutsen, um, uh, I took you know the last energy in me. You know, it's so there I was. Even though I was tired, I, f I was focused in this match. Yeah. But not in the others. Um, but in the others, yeah. Okay, the reason I was tired. I was I was sick the week before, like I mean, the, up into the week coming to the competition, but um, so that made me tired. Okay, no, that's fair enough. So that's very hard. To I was um, I was not. Uh, uh, I don't I don't think I was sick during okay. the competition. Uh, so um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I lost. Uh, I had not the best focus on the pool, but on this elimination, it was, it was okay. Okay, and that's absolutely fine. So here we are. So like right away, see, we have a, just a little bit of info, and that's okay. Like we're not gonna overthink it. Yeah. So good enough. We have information. So 
what's your like we have this homie here what was your plan going in right have you fenced this guy before uh yes i fenced him one time before but i have watched him fence and did you win before uh, i and uh, no uh i did not was it close or no no uh, yeah it was super long time ago it was when i was under 15 uh it was Okay, you're still uh, a like so, yeah, so a yeah, but I I got four four and then I lost, so it was my greatest match at that point. Um, greatest match in history. Yeah. No, so it bad. was very it was a great match for that time, but okay. uh, uh, I have watched him and of course his uh, teammates and they have some similarities, like yeah. they have really good point control and they really try to abuse being shorter uh, by Abuse yeah. being shorter that's that's yeah something. by trying <laughs> to make me uh, extend a lot so they can punish that and also going under a little bit yeah so basically so, i think to, to some extent that's them abusing how tall you are more than anything compared to them yes Does that makes sense Yes. Uh, relative to your height and your style, I think it's not necessarily them if, like abusing their inherent traits. They're using a bit more of their your traits against you. Because uh, I know yes. when you get kind of nervous, I've watched you fence. You tend to stand up a lot. Uh, yes. That will make you miss a lot of points, especially on short opponents. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, just to reframe that, so that's good. And then, yeah, and he's Danish, right? Yes. Yeah, the Danish, like, they, they're all kind of not – they're all kind of like uh, Jorgensen clones, right? They move a lot, they have pretty good point control, and they kind of like fighting. I would I would not say that. Uh, I would say they uh, they have the same – a lot of them have the same very good strength in yeah. their distance, point control, and uh, really good at punishing you trying to extend too much. Okay. But – uh, so they have same strengths and but uh, it's very different fencing Kenneth than fencing yeah of course yes from the, yeah they yes but they have uh, a lot of similarities let's just say they have inspirations yes so okay so that being said i didn't even ask you what what was your plan uh uh, first, I would uh, not uh, fall into those things. I said that he would abuse or try to punish me for being tall. And I would try to avoid uh, too much uh, parries against him because I know he's uh, good at them. Uh, you want to avoid probably... his parries? Or yeah, I want to avoid um, doing a lot of fencing. Uh, you know, like doing a lot of parades. Uh, so you want to avoid doing would... too many parades? Yes, I want to avoid myself doing okay. it. Because he would probably end up on top. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and that was kind of... So right now we're at... We don't want him to abuse being short. We don't want to do too many parries. Uh, and then anything else that was like on your mind? Uh, I don't remember more than that. We forgot. Yeah. That's all right. So right, right away, my kind of initial thought is you're telling yourself a lot of things you don't want to do. Yes. But you're not telling yourself anything you want to do. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. That's... So mentally, right, right now you're like, I, I'm not going to parry and fuck that guy short. Um, that's kind of it, right? So you're not really yes. giving yourself like something you want to actively do so right away right we want to want to find something to look for because when you tell yourself not to do right if i tell myself don't parry four then yes. i'm basically giving myself the option of taking six seven eight but yeah. I, i'm really like it's very ambiguous right for you from what yeah. i see you have an insane six uh it's very fast yes. so yes Maybe your mind, your your setting should maybe be more like, how can I take six on this guy, maybe or something like that, right? So just as an example. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I would not restrict myself to Paris. I just, yeah, not try to too much. Oh my 
god, you're a ham. All right, but this is good, right? To some extent. Like, oh, that was ham as hell. But, like, this guy's got his hand low. And his tip yes. is looking really lazy. So you kind of punish it. Yes. So right here, very assertive. He's sleeping. You call him out for it. That's very good so far. Yes. Ah, so that was clever by him. So, right, so the one trap he can do with a low hand, right? That's yes. the one, like, realistically, what can you do? Four or six? Yeah. He's Danish, good chance it's six, just from what I've seen from Danish fencers. Um, and also from the one reaction we saw earlier when you attacked him, he kind of went for a really late six. Yes. Right. Right, he kind of panics six there. So already here, when homie is pushing us, right, low hand, he's very calm. You fell to the, like, to, to his credit, there was a very good feint, but, like, you should be ready for this. So this information should have already been kind of absorbed by your supercomputer and your brain. Yeah. But, like, it's 1-1, one, one. like, the, the bout is far from over. Yes, uh, but it, it's good. I should have been uh, more ready for it. Yeah, like, so for me here, like, yes, he was good. But, like, you're in the middle of the strip, right? There's not, there's so much room. It's a kind of an unnecessary risk. Yes. But you can, at least now you know he likes six. So it's not the end of the world yet. So you're a very chaotic fencer. Like, you love chaos. Uh, yes. Uh, a lot of the time. Right, like, you're flicking, you're beating the blade. It's, it's very good. It's not, like... For me, it's... Um, it's very hard to uh, adapt to. Like, it's not my style, but, like, if as long as you're aware of that's what you like to do, it's fantastic. Yeah, uh, I... I try to... Uh depends on um, as much of my strength and uh, not give my yeah. opponent uh, too much, when, especially when I fence someone who is uh, a stronger fencer than me. Uh, I try not to... The thing is, yeah, is I, I don't want to give him. I don't think that guy's a stronger fencer than you. Uh, not uh, like uh, physically, I mean uh, like experience-wise. Yeah, but I, I still don't inherently think he's a better fencer than you. So like, tr try not to like, so that like that's where like, in a bad way the ego comes in, and then you instantly yeah. start your game instantly becomes a bit more tight because you're like, man, that guy's a little he should be better than me, so his reactions will automatically be godlike or better, right? Uh, and that all comes down from you. Even though you may not be, to some extent, you're a little bit scared, right? And you're not fencing to the best of your abilities. Uh, and then six again. And then you really like to fight. Right? Like here, you're like, I got to do four. When you give a lot of chaos and you get a reaction, sometimes it's okay to just leave. Uh, like, yeah. that, like when you give a lot of chaos and all of a sudden you take it away. Right, if you give him a lot of chaos, he's gonna be in chaos mode, and he's gonna fight, and then he'll uh, in that moment his experience might actually shine through. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, if you just take that away, he'll be like, "Oh wait, we're not fighting," and then you can go back into chaos. So sometimes giving the accordion, yeah, you're, you're very one-dimensional sometimes. Yes. Ah, so. So here I could tell that you're going to go for a six just from the wind up, like for sure, from the moment you're you're pushing for sure. Yeah. And then he kind of takes advantage and disengages a bit. Or was that a disengage or a flick? Either way, uh, it was probably a flick to my hip. Um, so here, like, uh, it's kind of you like fuck around and find out you found out. Yes. 
but like that was very one dimensional, right? Like the train started here and then there were no yeah. breaks. Yeah. Like the feints are pretty good. I feel like if he like if he's not paying attention, you'll probably hit him. Yeah. Well, yeah. So this is not too bad. You didn't like necessarily mean to get it. No, no. It was just, I was just tired. Right, but you take those. The yeah. only thing I can really like. Right. This was kind of like. As far as a counterattack goes, it's kind of all in. You can't like it's not like a counterattack, I retreat, counterattack, retreat. It just kind of happened because he wasn't expecting you to be able to hit. Yeah, so. I, I fainted with yes, I fainted with my foot and then yes. So uh, right here i'm i can already kind of feel like you really want to go take six somewhere like you really like you want it so bad right now um, yeah be careful to like kind of stop the like if you're a hunter setting up an obvious trap you kind of want to let them lose the scent yeah like that. so be, be careful with that but you kind of I guess I should have watched the whole interaction before, but you kind of pull back. So that, on that aspect is very good. So now I've forgotten that you want to take six already. Yeah, it's the thing you said with being, you know, doing the same too much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Man, how did that, how did that not a double? That's unlucky. So you're, yeah. Like you're very strong and you're very flicky, but it seems your your tip drive, like your tip penetration, is uh, subpar. Yeah. Very flicky. So like if it came down if I asked you to like take six flick, no problem. That would be hype. But then if I asked you to like take six go straight, I have a feeling you'd have a harder time. Here, I pretty much just wanted to uh, pause. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but here, you're probably tired, right? Yeah. So that's the. So that's unfortunately very visibly tired. Yeah. I, I got pretty hard uh, punished on. I think it's the next period. Then here the he point. like he can really feel it. So he flushes at you. You don't even take six. You just kind of, uh, hella like you, you kind of just prayed counterattack. Yeah. Like this is an okay double. Not the end of the world if you're stalling. But uh, from the sounds of things, you're gonna do another. Uh... Yeah, I I don't I don't think I went forward now. I went back. Right, so your your energy level dictates a lot of whether you're gonna be defensive or offensive. Yeah, and the the clock. Uh, well, of course, yeah, the clock. Like here, like yeah. to be fair, with like thirty seconds left, right? That's still like. Uh, that's a third. That's like a one, uh, one six of the period still, right? That's a long time. Yeah. But okay, we. So, do you remember what, uh, like maybe you're talking to your coach, your, or with yourself? I don't know. What was your thought process in the break time? Oh. Uh, um. Let me think. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Right. So. Like here, I would have told you like, personally, I would have said like, you need to threaten because like his hand goes low a lot. So when his hand yeah. goes low a lot, like I would have been like, you really want to, you want to pressure that. You don't want him to feel ever, ever comfortable. 
not having like not having any threat on you. That way he's always breathing and you can always bait out that six, right? Uh like yeah. I person like personally like I, I would have like gone for his foot and like that's not your hit, but like personally I would like every time he brings his uh, tip down, I'm looking at his hand and then if he like lets up, I'm going for his foot cuz it's going to be a six. So I would yeah. like make his hand on like my first goal I guess would have been make him very uncomfortable at the hand. Yeah. Uh, and then his movement will become more predictable. Because his footwork is honestly not that bad, right? It's pretty good. Uh, yes. But I think his hand is lackluster. So you guys are kind of opposite, right? Your footwork is not your strongest suit, but your hand is crazy. So in the short term, right, uh, we can't magically tell you to have better footwork uh, no. in a one-minute break. Uh, if you can, show me how. Um, but if uh, what we can do, though, is turn your strength uh, versus his weakness and that just means every time he puts his hand low you're just letting him know that you want you mean business so yeah. that would be like my immediate reaction to this that's what i would tell you yeah uh, and then if you ever feel like you're getting caught you just leave like you don't like the situation i would tell you not to fight just leave uh, yeah the the one issue here that sounds like though is you might get tired from that but that's you know like that's uh that's very like hindsight. That's after the fact. So anyway, uh, do you remember kind of what you were thinking in the break or what your coach might have told uh, you? I think uh, I think the I had more uh, focus on uh, trying to uh, yeah and probably go through more because uh, you know just with straight. That's yeah, like, that's I fine. Think, but I, that's what I think. But I'm not sure. That's okay. That's okay. Um, we're not here. Because we're not gonna be too hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably, I should at least be thinking. Okay, the six is good, but it's not right now working. Uh, I'm not getting it, so I need to probably. See, immediately, this is really good. Like yeah. four. Yes, you don't need to fight, but like you just leave. So that's already very good. Oh, very good. It's okay, so already the the kind of plan we put in that I kind of put into motion. You're you're kind of doing so. Maybe you're listening to me from the past. Yes, it's it's the greatest plan to listen uh, <laughs> to your future self or you your uh, future uh, you. Oh, that was hype. Okay, so now I know that when you're on your legs and you're being very careful, you're you're an absolute wall, right? I, I'd have a better chance uh, fighting a Viking than I would your your eight and six right now. Yes, sometimes. All right, so actually, like when you control the distance, you're crazy strong. Oh, lucky. Okay, so already like your your tip adjustment is very good. So at one point something is gonna go horribly wrong because I remember we looked at the end it was like fourteen nine or something. Yes. Uh, now are you tired now? Um, not as much as uh, other. Like you're, why like why yeah, did you yeah, I, that I, so much? That's uh. Yeah, I was um. I was probably thinking that uh. Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, okay, so that's fine. It, okay. It's uh, it could be, but I I think it's a little bit too early to be tired. Yeah, again, but I I don't know. Yeah, maybe you just lost focus. That's okay. So like. With things like loss of focus, right? It's, I mean, it's it's hard to stay focused the whole time. But you, uh, especially at practice, you have to acknowledge it. 
Like, if there's a hit, you're like, what happened? You're like, oh shit, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you have to acknowledge it. That way, you can just be aware. Like, so, like, uh, loss of focus is almost like your brain is, like, scamming you out of a hit. Uh, yeah. And then half the battle, like, right? Like, let's say you go to uh, Paris, right? And you know what? The Eiffel Tower, there's a bunch of scams. Um, yeah. If you know about the scam, there's honestly, like, more than 70% chance that you will not get scammed. But if you yeah. are aware, yeah, if you're aware of the scam, you probably won't get scammed. And then, like, the other 30% obviously is up to you. Uh, but, like, just yeah. acknowledging that you have a brain fart will be able to give you a really good feedback loop. And you're like, whoa, I lost focus. And then instead of, like, staying in that moment, maybe you'll take two steps back or something. Yeah. Uh, and then eventually. So just acknowledge, acknowledge it for now. And then eventually, it, either it'll stop happening or you'll be able to have a plan for when that happens. Yeah. But yeah, here, like, that's just you, like, you stop fencing for one reason or another. Although here, see, like, again, you're kind of just bouncing back. And he's in yeah. shark mode. Yeah, so I, you stop I doing think hand I look pretty completely. tired. Yeah, I think I look uh, pretty tired. No? Yeah. I don't Absolutely. Know. Yeah. Yeah, and then this I uh, basically too the high on the leg. Just happened, right? Yeah. Like I'm not even seeing like your your signature six. You just got close. Holy shit! We try to counter it. That's it. Yeah. So I think here we can definitely say it's maybe more than a brain fart. You could just be tired. Ah, uh, now. Yeah. Now, kind of like your fight or flight mechanism. You're uh, you're like, man, I'm not gonna lose this bout. Now you're being active. But now, yeah. this is not active, this is rushing, right? Yeah. This is just emptying the last. Yeah, so now yeah, you're like, you found like that inner gas chamber. Yeah. Uh, so that means active does not mean rushing. And now, right, this one is like, that one was too free because it's not like, it's just not a good hit all around. You you wasted more no. energy, uh, yeah. and you showed him that you're like fuck. You're like you're, you're already at the end of your uh, you're already at the end of your gas tank. So if he just like shuts the door and stops fencing right now, there's a good chance you can't come back. Yeah. So right there. So focus and energy is what we can kind of chalk this bout up to so far. Uh, yeah. Unless I see something insanely magical in the next. Uh, in the next two minutes. Well, I like this. Uh, I, I, here. I think I, there. I, I, we can see everything here. Anyway, uh, go ahead. I think there was some some good touch left in the match, but yeah, well, it was not much. I'm sure there will be. Uh, uh, like yeah. you're, you're getting at least uh, three, four more points, right? Yeah. So Von der Osten over there. Yes. This is actually like this is quite a hard tournament actually. Uh yeah. Uh, is this senior? Uh yeah. Must be fun. Alright, senior yeah, again, right? Uh, yeah. You're kinda not really fencing, right? So from from around here, this is not uh this is not Caspian Torn fencing. It's uh no. I'm not sure. It's like a shell of yourself, right? Yeah. Cause now, like, it's not active. You're not trying stuff. Like, you try to one just as a kind of desperation. So here, like, you're absolutely gas. You're out of gas. Yeah. Like here, for sure, you're gonna do six. He's. I think he just attacks you. So did you do like a, because I, I know you're still like junior, right? Uh, yes. I'm, so did uh, you do like junior the day before? Uh, this competition does not have junior. Yeah, okay, so you're just tired in general. So that's all right. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Fine. Like, I you was, can uh, do some fitness. You can do footwork outside, right? There's plenty of ways to practice this. 
Yeah, yeah, I said, I said uh, I was sick the, that week, so it was not the... Uh, yeah, obviously coming yeah. back too, right? Coming back from a cold, uh, not not so cool. Um, so, yeah. fitness. So here now now we're seeing the the hammer of <laughs> the hammer of torn. Yeah. Like now you're active, but ca are you going to be able to sustain it? Ah, so now you're now you kind of rush, you get too close. And he disengages shift and hits you. Yeah. So like, in the short term, right, if you're in a moment like this, there's ways where you can really conserve energy to some extent, is okay. you can fight, right, you push, and it looks like, right, you're, you're, you're pushing him like crazy, right, when he's back here, yeah. you push, use some energy, and then just like, yeah. leave the distance, like two meters, three meters, who cares, and yeah. literally do nothing, okay. breathe. <laughs> Uh, obviously, like, yeah, like just go back, maybe put your point on time, breathe a bit. That way you can find a way to refresh yourself. But then when you go back on the entry, you have to be yeah. very ready because, right, if you're here and all of a sudden you go here and then you re-enter, he, he could just attack on your preparation, right? Yeah. But that, yeah, like and then, the earlier in the match. Exactly, yeah. And then that yeah. can also become a bait, though, because it's like, wait, is he pulling the distance for me or is he, right? He won't know. You can create a mind game, and in reality, you just want to breathe real quick. Yes. Uh, so just a little trick that, like, I, I do that sometimes, too. I'm, I'm like, t you know, to my own detriment, I'm not uh, the fittest guy. Oh, good fight. That was like fantastic. Yes. See, that's the power you have when you're ready. Yeah. Oh, I heard another voice. I feel like your fence intel also uses a lot of the energy during the first period of the match. Yes, yeah, right? So, so in the first period, like, we were a race car. Yeah. Second period, we're more like a bicycle. And yeah. now third period, it's like maybe a tricycle with a motor on it. Ah, uh, but now, yeah. So now he's he's being clever, of course. That's fine. Then yeah, and then also like <laughs> your um your foot like it's your footwork could use a lot of work, right? It's not super stable yeah. all the time. You could gain a lot of benefits from like being able to a bit lower. By yeah. being a bit lower more consistently, your tip will be able to find your target more consistently. Cause yeah. right when your legs move up and down like that, your tip mm -hmm. moves with that, right? So that creates another another variable for you. Yeah. Uh, so overall, right, so basically, you need to be able, your energy needs to last. Three, needs to last. Three periods. Not one. So, there's ways, right? So you either need, need way more energy. Find ways to cons like you know find ways to conserve like you you need to be able to to last that long. I feel like in uh like in the, do you usually do pretty well in pools? Um, I would. Uh, I usually I'm not that much better in one or than the okay. other. 
I feel like in pools, you're a very dangerous fencer. Uh, but then, like, uh, yeah, in the, in the DE, if I can survive the first period with you, I feel like my chances go up uh, very significantly. But, like, I also, so, like, you're posting a lot. Yeah, just, like, keep practicing. This yes. is, like, not bad fencing. Like, I don't think this guy is necessarily better than you by any means. Uh, like you said, he has more experience, but that also doesn't make him better. Uh, you, cause he might have more, exp like he might've been fencing longer, but I don't like, he, he's not necessarily as time using his time more efficiently than you are. Right. So yeah, get that thought out of your head. Uh, no one is better than you. You just haven't had the chance to beat them yet. That's all. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, more questions. Uh, yes. Um, um sometimes uh i have um um problem you know getting into the the fencing you know uh like sometimes i go out to the pist and uh i'm more or less uh, sleeping on the pist uh, okay do you have any tips to really uh, yeah get so... um get yourself going like at a tournament specifically uh yeah do you war how's your warm-up uh i always first warm up and uh, then i do some stretching and then i fence how much do you fence uh usually like uh, less than 20 points less so like for me particularly, like to make sure I'm really into my fencing. Yeah. Like I fence till I'm sweat like I fence a lot in the morning or before okay. competition. So it could be fence more. Uh this is also something like when you're at practice, do you do the same warm up that you would at a competition? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, so that's good. So like you need to kind of recreate try to recreate that a bit of practice. That way you can know, like, how long does it take for my fencing to feel good? Yeah, but it's uh, it's not only, like, in the first match of the day. It could be, like, yeah, later in the day. I could go out with not... True. Uh, yeah, could even also though be that my body may not day, be, right? like, totally... Yeah, even though if my body may not... Like, even if I'm tired in my body, like, sometimes my mind is... Uh, yeah, not not there. Uh, yeah. So maybe you could also have ways, right? Um, how do you like to have a more consistent game plan? Like, like for me, generally, like one of the main things, like I know I'm fencing well if I can get a toe hit, basically. Uh, and if I'm not able to do that very often, I'm like, oh shit. Okay, how do I do that? Um, so I, I put myself. That's a hmm, that's a very tough question to answer. Um. Like, do you know how you want to set up your hits in general? Or do you go by feel? Um, I, I would say uh, a lot by feel. So by feel, right? So you can't, so when you go by pure by feel, right? If your heart is good, then you'll be good. If your heart is bad, then you'll be bad, obviously. Right? So maybe start by finding like, you really like your six, right? So how yeah. can you consistently get people to go into your six, right? I'll, I'll feint eight, go to the hand. Feint eight, go to the hand. Feint eight, if they try to punish me, now I'll go six. So find a, a consistent way to do yeah. your favorite hit. And that will take yeah. a lot of objectivity out of it, right? It's not going to be I feel good, I feel bad. You'll just be like, this is how I set up my favorite hit. And that should make things yeah. a little bit more scientific as opposed to just like, do I feel good or bad? Then that's it, right? Yeah. Cool. Anything else? Um, yeah. Am I allowed to upload this to YouTube? Yeah, of course. Yes. Thank you very much for the, the analyze. The yeah, no problem. Anytime. I appreciate it a lot. And I appreciate uh, your comments a lot also. Oh, thank you, buddy. <laughs>